Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Gemini, this will be a love connection reading. So, this has to be a connection you believe you have with somebody. So, you have to actually know each other. And you don't necessarily have to be together, but it's whoever you're thinking about at this time. So, I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, your links are below in the description box for your generals and your loves, if you'd like to go and check that out. Also, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, how to, to uh, tip, donate, or send a gift. All that is below. So Gemini, welcome in, Gemini. So let's see what's going on in love for you at the end of the month. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Um, if it's not fitting for you, then it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit. Please hold out for uh, future readings or watch past readings or check out other signs in your chart. And this is for Gemini. If you have that in Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you don't necessarily have to have them in all those placements. And this can be also the energy of, you know, past, present, or future, however it resonates for you. So let's see here, Gemini. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet. So if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Some of you may be dealing with whatever I get here. We'll see. So what do we have? So we have Pluto. So I believe Pluto here is um, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. They could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. Or you could even have Scorpio in your chart. But Pluto is the energy of like all the basics of life, life, death, rebirth, uh, transformation, sex, power, control, all those like basic <laughs> life experiences and things. So we'll see how that um, plays out in your reading. And you do have 22 here, which is a double number of unity. And then you're, you're three, so that's like two, three. And if you add 22, that's four, which is about stability. So, what I'm going to do here, uh, Gemini, is whoever you're thinking about at this time, um, I'm going to get an overall like love connection energy between the two of you, or just an energy, see what's going on for Gemini at this time, spirit please. So welcome all Geminis, hope you're doing well, anybody watching this, cross watchers, or whoever, welcome. All right, so whoever you're thinking about, ooh, chariot. And you see the heart there, two people with their hands entwined. So you could be in a love situation here that's moving along very quickly with the chariot energy. Moving along with success, drive, ambition, balance kind of energy. Oh, it's a nice energy. So Gemini, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on this side, your person on that side. So I'm going to get one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other, the connection. So one for Gemini, one for their person. Let's see. So you have daydreams and decisions. So this is a seven of cups energy. So this could be about options, decisions, uh, confusion, daydreamy kind of energy. So maybe you're a little confused. you got two sevens here. Now, seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So this could be a very divinely guided connection, but you seem a little uh, confused and like foggy about it for some reason. And you really need to listen to your gut and your intuition as you see this person kind of meditating kind of energy. And you know what the Pluto there is about death and rebirth kind of energy. So, you know, you could have just been through some sort of ending and now you're having like a rebirth, a transformation, like a new beginning in life or something like that. So let's see what your person has. So your person has release. So 13 here, which I believe is the devil energy. So release here is about releasing toxic energy. Doesn't mean somebody's gonna die. It just means, um, oh no, that's death. That's not devil, that's death. So death here, yeah, death, not devil, death. So yeah, it doesn't mean anything, uh, anyone's gonna die. It's just ending a certain way, behavior or situation, and then transformation. There's always a transformation. As you see, this person is kind of transforming, like releasing something and transforming. So, so 
So your energy is in this, there, your person's in this energy of some sort of release. But I see the overall connection here is this moving forward with drive, ambition, success, victory, love, uh, balance. But it's like you're confused, don't know what to do, and your person is like, I don't know, should, you know, not sure if they should release this, end it, or what here. What the heck is going on here, Gemini? So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we do have brand new beginning in love here. We have love abounds. So this is a divinely guided brand new beginning in love coming in here. But I feel like you're not trusting it. You're confused by it. And this person is in that same energy. Yet the universe is saying this is something meant to be. That's supposed to drive forward, move forward in love. Because you have divinely guided brand new beginning there in love. And you see the eye here. So it's kind of like needing to listen to your gut, your intuition kind of energy here. Oh boy, let's see what's going on. So let's clarify this with the tarot. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tip, donate, sent a gift. Thank you for all your support. Really doesn't mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers and I want to, the channel's um, about a year old. And well, December would have been a year. But I'm subtracting the six weeks that over the summer, in case ever, anyone doesn't know, my channel was hijacked and stolen. And I didn't even know if I'd get it back. And I did. It took six weeks. So I'm adding six weeks on to when I started my channel. So mid-February, it would have been the end of December, but now I'm saying like mid-February. And so I wanted 10000 by the end of February, but I added those six weeks to give myself more time because of the six weeks it was stolen. So I said I want 10,000 by the mid-February, and we're almost at 10,000. So thank you, thank you, everybody. And I maybe do something special for 10K subs, so keep an eye out for that. All right. So this is the Sexual Magic Tarot. I think a lot of you know this deck. So there are sexual images on here. So uh, if you're 18, under 18, uh, then you probably should leave. And... If you're offended by these images, then you may not want to watch. All right, so let's get some clarity here for you, Gemini. Why are you in the seven... Oops, I just had something flip. Seven of Cups energy. Oh, wow, that's way too many. <laughs> but here's the Ace of Cups again. So this definitely is a divinely guided love here. But I think both of you are confused by it and not sure about it. All right, so let's see, for Gemini, two of wands. So this is about plans, decisions for the future. So you're needing to make plans and decisions about this connection for the future, but you're confused about it. And he is a lover, so again, soulmate energy. This is a soulmate, and that's your energy, Gemini, with the lovers. Now, we do have three people here, so I don't know... Uh, if there's a third party somewhere, I'm not really getting that energy yet, but uh, this could be making a decision also about a lover. And um, it could be like your past weighing you down about moving forward in the for the future with a new person <clears throat> and really trying to having, having to decide about this new soulmate. But I feel like you're a little confused about what to do in this situation. All right, so why is your person... Maybe, you know, your person sees you um, very confused and not sure and holding back. And uh, maybe, you know, maybe they're ready just to walk away and release it because you're kind of stuck energy. But, yeah, because they have, they have the moon. So they don't really know, like, how you feel, but they could have deep feelings and emotions for you. Also, the moon does represent deep feelings, emotions, intuition. Also, not seeing the path clearly. Um, secrets kind of energy, but doesn't have to be. But they may not just know how you feel, but they definitely could have deep feelings. And they want the Nine of Cups with you. They want wish fulfillment, happiness, joy in every single way. They want that with you, but they're not sure what you want because you can't make a decision about this moving to move it forward. But this definitely is, you kind of know this is a soulmate. You're like, okay, this Seems like a perfect person for me, but I'm kind of maybe just stuck on the past kind of energy. 
Oh boy, Gemini. All right, so let's get the actual situation here. Actual situation here for Gemini. Well, we have the Two of Pentacles, again, juggling around all this energy, trying to make a decision to balance out your energy. But we do have the Four of Wands here now, so this is about stability. It's also my Twin Flame card. So this new person definitely could be a soulmate Twin Flame because you have the Lovers and the Four of Wands. So definitely soulmate Twin Flame. Very stable energy, but you're indecisive here about, about this. And your person wants this, but they don't know what you want. So then the energy here of, uh, I may just walk away from this and end it with the death card. You know, can we just about ending it? So can we have a few more here for Gemini? Four of Cups. So that's sitting right in the middle of the spread between the two of you. So you're in this energy of being kind of bored and complacent and blah with this because it's not going anywhere. It's not moving along the way it should. Kind of energy so you both are in the energy like i don't know what to do here the four of cups is usually my board complacent blah kind of card you know not offering any love no love is coming in should i give love should i not you know kind of just sitting there like blah seven of swords so this is lies deceit self-deceit sneaky kind of energy your person may be feeling like they're being deceived by you because you're not being honest with them. You're not making a de decision here to move this forward. So now you're kind of stuck in the stalemate between the two of you with the Four of Cups energy about this connection. But I do see Soulmate Twin Flame written all over this divinely guided love. Now we got the Four of Swords. So now your person is feeling like... <clears throat> Oh, four swords is thinking, contemplating, healing energy, you know, um, retreating kind of energy. So they, they, you know, they may be feeling like they really need to think about this now. They may be feeling like, you know, you're not being honest with them. You're not revealing to them exactly how you feel. This isn't moving along like it should. So now they're thinking, contemplating here about this. Now it's kind of stuck in a stalemate. Oh boy. So let's get advice for this connection, Gemini. So I feel like, I mean, this is your side, but if you feel like the roles need to be reversed, then please do that. But I feel like you're stuck, I think maybe on the past and afraid to move this new relationship further. And your person's waiting for that. They want this with you and they're not sure how you're feeling which is causing them to really think about this now. Maybe just walk away. Oh boy. I think you need to make up your mind here. So now we get the Queen of Swords. King or Queen doesn't matter. That's your energy. So you're needing to uh, make a decision here. You need to be open, honest. You need clarity. You need to have clarity to think deeply about this kind of energy. Hierophant. So it's about commitment, marriage. So do you want to commit to this person? You need to communicate this to your person. You know, do I want this commitment, this marriage, or whatever it is here, or leveling up this love? You need to have that mental clarity so you can communicate that to, to your person. Because the swords is all about communication. King or queen here, doesn't matter. What else? This is the advice for the connection. Five of cups. Yeah, the sadness, loss, hurt here. You know this is hurting your person, and maybe you're hurt too because you do really like this person or love this person, yet you're scared to move it forward. And now you know you're stuck in a stalemate, and you're feeling a little bit sad if there's been a little separation and hurt about this. You're both feeling that. So we have the Page of Wands here. So this is good news coming in. So this is messages going out, messages coming in, fiery, passionate communication, good news. So yeah, so you may finally make up your mind here or you need to make up your mind about this commitment, marriage, whatever, because there's a lot of sad, sadness and loneliness here and communicating that with the page of wands, very fiery, passionate, exciting communication, good news. So I think this will be good news to them on their part here. Uh, once they hear this from you. 
So let's see a possible outcome of this connection. Three of Pentacles, so working on it, working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, working on it together. Slow, practical approach, taking baby steps, not rushing it. To the Ten of Pentacles, so this definitely could lead to marriage. So maybe, you know, you're thinking about, do I really want to get married again? Do I really want to be in a long-term commitment again? The Ten of Pentacles is for the long term. So this could be a long term partner. Could be marriage, long term commitment, growth, abundance, success, victory, whole family dynamic. So this could lead to your Ten of Pentacles for a lifetime here, lifelong partner. Page of Cups here. So uh, somebody expressing love here. You know, maybe finally realizing, you know, if I don't communicate to my person, I may lose them maybe even to somebody else there. So you may be writing a love letter to this person and, and just expressing, or maybe that's what you need to do is write a letter to them and express to them everything, you, maybe not everything you've been through, but you know, because of your past, I feel this way, and the, you know, the whole thing, and then tell them how you feel. You wanna take it slow, work on it slow, you know, see where it goes, leveling up the um, relationship to either a commitment or something like that. But definitely love will offer here with the Page of Cups or just expressing love kind of energy. And this is right here, your Ten of Cup, your Ten of Pentacle person for the long term. And then we do have the Queen of Wands. So very fiery, passionate energy here. Go-getter kind of energy. Fire. Now the Empress. So taking, so taking the lead, control. Uh, king or queen, wands, doesn't matter. Emperor, empress, doesn't matter. Finally taking lead, taking control, getting that fire passion in your belly to move this forward, this new beginning in love. Finally doing that, a lot of drive, ambition. Four of pentacles, so stable energy, wanting to hold on to this, not letting it go, not wanting to let this person go, bringing justice into this connection, truth, honesty, balancing out the scales, doing what's moral, just and right. You know, being a little defensive and on guard here with the Seven of Wands for a time here about this connection, but now finally balancing, healing, tempering your energy. And this temperance angel does bring the soulmates together. So deciding to take a leap, take a leap of faith here, starting over, starting fresh from scratch, having a new beginning here with your person, taking that leap. So I see taking, and I just saw the um, Empress so we have the Emperor and the Empress. So this is a matching couple, divine couple, soulmate, twin flame couple. Seven of Cups, again, clarifying your confusion. So if you're confused about this, and then we got the uh, Magician, so manifesting this forward and moving it forward, finally, no, with the Emperor and the Empress, this is a soulmate, divine connection, twin flame, possibly. Getting over the confusion, balancing your energy, having uh, patience, healing energy to take that leap. After being defensive for a time, now wanting justice in this connection, you know, not wanting to let them go, wanting to hold on to them, gaining all your fire, passion, and um, strength here to move this forward, taking control, taking the lead. So we have, let's see, we have Gemini Virgo, we have Libra Taurus, we have Sagittarius, we have Aquarius. Let's see, we have Libra, we have Aries, we have Leo Sag Aries, over here we have Cancer, and that is Scorpio, and then we have Scorpio again, and then we have you over here with Gemini, so you could be dealing with another Gemini, Cancer Pisces, uh, let's see here, Leo Sag Aries, Taurus, Libra Gemini Aquarius, that's your energy and Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So a lot of energy here. So let's see. So you need to communicate clearly, make a decision to move this up one notch, one level. They're waiting for you uh, to express how you want to move this forward. All right, Gemini. Gemini. Let's get some extra messages with this stuff for you, Gemini. 
I do ask Gemini, if you're new, please do check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So I feel like this one. Compromise, exactly. We have the three of pentacles. Um, th yeah, right here. So teamwork, collaboration, compromise, working it out, building slowly, moving it forward in love. All right, so what else here? Wow, that's way too many. I think I'll take this top one. And then we have ask for help from others. So I don't know, maybe needing advice, guidance, maybe counseling or something like that. But there's no need to worry about this relationship, this connection, because I do feel like it's a divine connection here. So there's no need to worry about going into something new. And it's telling you to take action, Gemini. Take action on this connection and communicate clearly. And that's your energy. Gemini is all about communication, ear sign. So, yeah, they're waiting for you to communicate clearly about leveling up this connection or moving it forward in some way, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, <laughs> best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.